just feels like hockey weather out there and we've got a good one here in store for you tonight american hockey league action i cannot wait to drop the puck really looking forward to this one tonight The Condors are going to start with the puck after taking the opening draw. Moves around along the half wall. Moves it to Peterson. Oh, hello! It comes up. The score! Well, talk about a friendly ping right there. Oh, uh, yeah, it's all about the bounces, isn't it, James? And you got to get the right one, and that one is in his favor. The goaltender doesn't like this one. I mean, he gets beat up high because he can't get back to his feet. Why? Because he's running around in his crease because of an egregious defensive zone turnover. Ontario's on the board just like that. And this crowd, we thought it was hot before. It's gone next level already. Well, it has because it's the opening minute of the game when they score. And this is exactly what they wanted. You want to elevate the crowd. You want to get the momentum behind you. Man, they were off. They were hopping. And they dictated the pace. Picking up momentum across the zone here on the right side. Battle along the boards. Broberg's moving the puck through his own zone. Quick feed to Madden. Moves inside. Bakersfield's got the puck in their own end. Takes the pass. Toss up the puck after that hit. And he handles the cross ice pass. Can't keep a hold of it. The Condors get a hold of the puck along the boards. Through the open ice, they're picking up steam. Centering pass. And it's blocked. Scores! They tied it up. And we are back to even. Well, working hard, sticking to the game plan with good habits. And they're back to evens. Man, I would love to freeze frame that shot, James. Ah, the torque on his stick to be able to get that shot off with that amount of force. Incredible. Lots of hockey left to be played in this period. You can feel the energy in this crowd. It's a tie game. Ontario's won the faceoff at center. Moves it to the middle. And that's stopped. Great use of the stick in the defensive end by Nimalainen. Pinned up along the boards. The rain have taken possession along the wall. Moves the puck. Looks to make a play over to Houdon. Centering feed! And that's intercepted. Across the line along the left wall. Here's a chance in front! And that chance is blocked. Connaughton's got the puck in his own zone. Ontario's on the attack. Picked up along the wall by Hamblin. Bakersfield's got it in their own zone. Quick pass to Nimalainen. Turns him away! Dishes it to Hellenius. Fires it into the offensive zone. The Condors have it now. Bakersfield's ready to go on the attack. Sends it deep inside the offensive zone. Sends it over to Pinelli. Scoops up the puck here. your opponent early in the game and that early delivery of a bone crushing hit that does just that and that's taken by the defense gaining steam here on the attack nothing doing coaches often measure scoring chances and he does a real good job to get to that spot but he will be disappointed it's so difficult to get to you want to convert when you get there quick pass over to Morto back at the point they set it up Getting closer to the halfway point of this frame. It's all tied up. Peterson's won the draw. The Rain have possession along the boards. Takes it off. Look out. And he takes the pass. Sends it in front. Oh, he comes up with a stop. And the puck stopper hangs on to get a breather here for the team. 
And both centers glide into the dot as a face-off set to resume. Back underway as he wins the draw inside the offensive zone. Gets a piece of it to keep it out. Well, that's the type of save they say you use everything to get in front of it, James. Is that jolts off the mask? Maybe a little dizzy after that one. And the puck's kicked free. Scooped up along the wall by Santini. Here's a short pass to Thomas. Slides the puck to Peterson. The Rain have gained possession off the wall. Thomas carries the puck in his own zone. With possession along the wall. Oh, smart heads up play to poke that one away. Takes the pass in the offensive zone. Moves it to the middle. Great defensive play to pick off the pass. Moves it quickly over to Kajula. Poked away in the offensive end. Handles the pass from the right side. And uses the length of his stick to knock that puck away. Hamlin stick handling in his own zone. Moves it to Broberry. Right up the gut into the offensive end. The Rain have taken possession of their own end. Fagamos lugging the puck. Takes the feed. And now it's grabbed by Deneen. Quick pass across to Lavoie. Coughs it up at center. Pushes it across to Fagamo. Strong use of the body to force the puck loose. Can't keep a hold of it. Bakersfield's gained possession along the boards. Lavois taking it from his own end. Stoppage in play as we get an offside. Past the midway mark of the frame, we are all tied up in this one. And after the drive center, they've got a hold of the puck. Hellenius is taken down, and the officials are signaling for a penalty. McCain's called for triple. He's off to the box. Ontario's man advantage unit will take to the ice for the first time tonight. First power play opportunity of the game. You know they've worked on this in practice to set up the look that they want. Let's see how they move the puck around the perimeter and look to attack. That's a fly! Oh, there's one more! Puck is frozen, and we get a stoppage in play. Groovy's side still shorthanded here as they slide in for the faceoff. Doty's got it, and they'll go on the attack here in the offensive zone. Gets it out of his own end. And a tenacious effort pays off as he comes up with it. Denies him in close. Goaltenders work so much on their reaction time, and man, this is just a clinic right now as he flashes the glove and makes the save. Doty's ready for the draw as we get set to resume this power play. Bakersfield's won it, now they'll go on the attack. Storms up with the blocker. <laughs> Peterson's ready for the draw as they continue to be shorthanded here. Good read by the winger as the two centers tie up. Feed to Kemp. Moves the puck along the half wall. Quick pass to Houdon. Bakersfield's got the puck shorthanded. McKay almost ready to get back on the ice. And as he jumps out of the box, he can thank his penalty killers as they bail him out to keep this one tied. That's a great job by this PK unit, James, creating some momentum for their team and getting out of it without getting scored on. And this is critical, given that it's a tie game. Sends it in front, and he denies that great opportunity there. Scores! There it is, the go-ahead goal! And how good does that feel? You can see the celly. The energy is certainly there, and now it's about dictating the pace going forward. Next shift, critically important.
It looks like the goaltender's tracking the puck really well. His movement is agile, but he just can't keep up to that quick release shot on the inside of the post. Ontario's got a one goal lead after that strike here in the first. Uh, it's all about quick strike, and now they've got the go ahead. So they know that they can be confident with the puck, but they certainly can't sit back and protect it. The rain have the puck against the boards. Gets the full use of his stick on the puck check. Grimace gonna play the puck behind the cage. That goes off the post and stays out. The Condors are working hard to get back in this game. They wire went off the post, but they're generating offense. The coach, the staff, the entire team needs to stay confident here. They're generating the looks. They just have to find a way to execute. Suttering pass! Couldn't complete the pass! Good heads-up defensive play as he extends the stick. The Condors gain control of the puck against the wall. Grimis got it along the wing. And he slides it quickly to Hellenius. Shot! And that goes off a player in front. And he's knocked off the puck there. Slides it up front. Bakersfield's got the puck in the defensive end. Here's a short pass to Broberg. The Condors take it along the wall. Moves it to the middle. And he shuts down a great scoring chance there. The Condors must be feeling a little snake bitten, trailing in the late stages of the first. Ontario's taking possession in their own end. Through center. The Condors have it from their own end. Through the neutral zone now, picking up steam. Ontario's got the puck along the wall. Handles the pass. Puck dumped in. Bakersfield's gained possession. Here they come up along the wing. Ward's picking up steam. Bakersfield's gonna play the puck from behind the cage. Looking for space inside the D zone. Moves it quickly over to Nimalainen. Offside the call, we'll get a reset. Official signals for the players to get into position and we're about ready to drop the puck. Bakersfield's won the draw. And with the buzzer, that puts a bow on the first 20 minutes of play. We've got lots more still to come. Second period action next, right here. Fans, take a look at our scoreboard as we acknowledge tonight's special hoops in attendance.
A chance for both teams to refuel. They are back on the ice, and period number two is about set to go. The second stanza is underway as the puck is dropped. Let's go. Well, Cheryl, we got 20 minutes under our belts in this one. How do you sum up the performance? Ingham's the only reason that his team is in this game, James, I and mean, he's been outstanding through the first 20. He's dialed in, he's focused, and his team needs to pick it up if they want a shot at winning this game. Puck battle along the boards. Oh, textbook poke check to turn that over. Sends it out front. Off the stick, and they can't complete the play. Ontario's gained the line and into the zone. Too many bodies in the way. The Condors scoop it up along the boards. Moves it to Tynan. I don't think anybody was hanging onto the puck after that hit. Reaches out and uses the stick. Tries to feed it over to Tynan. And he lowers the boom there. Quick feed to Hamblin. Forces the turnover. The puck. And that's broken up by Berber. The Condors are doing a great job of anticipating the play, and that's why the puck is on their stick. They're intercepting pucks all game long. They've got to make good on them. They've got to transfer it, head north, and start cashing in. Tremendous stop with the blocker by Campbell. Off the post. Ontario's continuing to push the pace of play in this game. They've been aggressive in the offensive zone. They do have the lead, but they wanted the extra push. the pedal to the metal. This is exactly why you send bodies to the front of the net, James. You want to create a screen, and the goaltender drops into the butterfly position as a default and is battling to find the puck. Can't find it and beats him clean. Ontario's extended the lead to two here in the second. And I think they need to continue to play desperate. Don't sit back. There's a lot of runway left. Continue to take control of the game. And they grab possession of the puck after that center ice face-off. Shot! Swats at him with the glove and got just enough of it. Uses the force on that hit. Here's a shot! Glove save! Quick reflexes! Ingham's been a consistent presence in the crease, James. I mean, he's made the stops he's needed to, but his team's playing extremely well, and that's why they have a comfortable lead. Bakersfield still trailing in this one despite numerous shots on goal. The Condors win that offensive zone faceoff. A chance on goal. Grabs the puck in the slot. Looking from behind the net, trying to find that open man in front. Picked off by Kromiak. And they'll battle for that loose puck along the boards. Quick snap. Spectacular stop by the goaltender. How did he hang on to that? Takes the feed from the left side. Pennelli's got it against the boards. And the puck stopper tails his man. Score! who needs the man advantage and the extra attacker as they quickly strike. Well, they had possession. They recognized the lane. And to be truthful, the defensive structure, well, they just collapsed and played soft. You've got to be able to attack. And the end result, a goal. The Rain have extended the lead to three here in the second. Well, I feel like they've been connected, and when you're connected, you're able to transition quickly, and although they haven't had a ton of shots on net, I feel like their opponent's been sitting back and caught off guard because they've had the majority of shots. Great pressure with the stick. And now he moves it to Ward. Along the half wall with the puck. Quick pass to Ward. And that was stopped. In front. And a stoppage on the play as the goaltender covers things up. We haven't even hit the midway mark of the period. Ontario's been showing relentless pressure lately, now up by three. The Condors get a hold of the puck in their own end. Oh, wow! What a save with the glove! Officials are in position, and both teams are getting ready as they get set for another face-off here. 
Play resumes here as he wins the draw inside the offensive zone. Now a quick pass to Connaughton. And he gets in front of that rocket. Receives the pass. Sends a pass over. And the puck pops out. He's got a little jump. Takes a shot with the stop. Bakersfield's had a tough time finding any momentum in this game. They're beaten in all areas of the ice, and you certainly don't want to look at the analytics in this one. The only good part, they have some time left to claw their way back in. Takes a spill onto the ice and loses the puck. Here's a short pass to Hamlin. Denies him with the pad. And he takes the dish. Takes a shot. And the traffic neutralizes that threat. Grabbed along the board by Doty. Pass across to Lavoie. Moves it quickly over to Doty. Made the stop on the play. There's the whistle. Let's get the call from the officials. Doty's getting called for tripping on the play. Field sent in their power play unit out for the first time tonight. First power play opportunity for this team. It's going to start in the face-off circle, getting possession with the win, and then looking to set up. Puck is dropped, and he wins the draw here in the defensive zone. And they get that puck down the ice. Grabs the puck and moves on out here at this man advantage. Bakersfield's got it across the line. Great use of the twig as he pokes that one away. And the puck's not loose. They'll want to clear the zone here while they're trying to kill off this penalty. From the blue line, they take control of it. Ontario's going to be able to kill a few seconds off now with the puck. The Condors carrying it along the blue line. Let's move to the middle. He scores! What a goal! Well, great placement, but he had to get the one-timer off quickly, James, because he didn't have much time and space in that net front area. You know that they're going to close quickly on you when you find that that puck comes across. The Condors desperately needed that one here. They did, and one of the key elements for them to have success is to support the puck. Feel like they've been isolated a lot in this game, but a lot of runway left over a period to play in order to get back in. Picked off by Tynan. Madden's got it in the defensive end. On the attack along the boards. Thomas has been so dangerous tonight. He wants that puck on his stick. He's got two goals already. He's looking for the hat trick. Gets it to the other point. Oh, what a save in front. Campbell's been outstanding. Tracking pucks and making huge saves like that one right there, right from the slot. And they'll get a breather as the goaltender covers it up. Here in the back half of this period, the Condors are still trailing by two. And they win the draw. Now let's see what they can do with it. Oh, stops it with a glove. Great reflexes there. That's an unbelievable stop. momentum back in your favor. It's key guys that contribute and have an impact. Ontario's had yet another to extend this lead and they are just flying tonight here in period number two. And they've completely worn their opponent down so they have no energy to get to the puck or try and create. And this is a testament to their whole lineup. They came ready to play. like the effort on this goal, James. He gets the initial shot off, but then he continues towards the net, gets in behind the defenders who can't catch up to the rebound, and he puts it in.
Bakersfield finally got the counterpunch they need. Now, can they do it again, Cheryl? That's the question. Well, they need the knockout punch, don't they? And if they're going to get two and claw their way back in this one, but the momentum's in their favor right now. But it's their choice to do something with it. Takes the feed in the middle of the ice. Your coach is preaching all the time. Take away the eyes of the goaltender. What does that mean? It means you get yourself in front of that net, whether it's a double stack, a double screen, whatever you can do so that the goaltender can't find the puck. And he couldn't as he drops to that butterfly. He tries to make himself as big as possible, but he can't catch up to the puck. Both teams are set. They're ready to drop the puck. And off the draw at center, they take control of the puck. Takes it from the right side. Taken along the wall by Doty. And a huge stop by the goaltender at point blank range. As a goaltender, you have to be able to read and anticipate the play. He does it perfectly and is able to negate the shot. Ontario's had the better scoring opportunities and lots of them, which is why they lead in a big way here in the second. And they take possession here inside the offensive zone. Gets down low and blocks the shot. Moves it to right. They've got numbers here. Fires it! That's glove by Ingham. And the puck stopper jumps on top of it to get a stoppage in play. Doty's won the draw in his own end. Now let's see if they can clear it. Ontario's got it in their own zone. Passed up ahead. And that shot came quick, and it was right out front. He had to be sharp. He had to be right on it and show his brilliant reflexes. Moves the puck inside the offensive zone. Great stop by the goaltender off the glove. The Condors get a hold of the puck along the boards. Quick feed to LeBron. Tremendous stop by Ingham. Look at this attack here in the O zone. And he's going to pounce on it for the whistle and get a stop in play and much needed at that. I can't overstate how timely important that this cover is, James. When you're on your heels and you're chasing the game, you need a reset button. Goaltender allows it to happen. Stop by the goaltender. A timely save is everything to your team and this goaltender, he bails his team out. And the centers glide towards the dot here as we got a face-off set to go. Offense is on face-off and he wins the draw. Big time Nice job tying up his opponent. Thomas plays it now. Pass it up ahead. That's how you get north in a hurry. Fantastic stretch pass. Grabs the puck at center. Oh, he's going to get cold on that slash. Let's see what the official says here. Being down by a bunch of goals, and then you get running around with frustration and out of control, and that's the reason why you took a penalty. Ontario's got another opportunity here on the man advantage. No, they haven't scored on the power play yet. 100% is not a number that you see typically. So they've got to find a way to just stay confident, trust the process and their skill sets. Looking to set up offensively. Moves it to the middle. Moves it again. And he denies that great opportunity there. Right through center and into the offensive zone. And he takes the feed. He missed that one. And the goaltender grabs that one for a whistle to try to slow things down here. Groovy's gliding in for the face-off as this penalty kill will continue. The Condors win the draw. And that's a great heads-up play in the offensive zone. Boom, is shot! And comes up empty. He gets a great look at the net, but it is way off target. It can be fast, it can be hard, but it's got to hit the net. 
Goaltender hangs on for the whistle. Another big face-off looming as this power play rolls on here tonight. Oh, and he takes possession of the puck from off the wing with the centers all locked up there off the draw. Can hang on to the puck after taking it off. Trying to get the puck out of his own end. Some would say it's not a big deal as they have a comfortable lead and they don't execute on the power play. I would say different though, James. Habits are everything. It's about moving forward and pushing and getting uncomfortable. This group certainly just looked comfortable. Straight up the middle. Here they come. He's got a step. Oh, the play. Uh, and this is a great play by the tender to anticipate and get across to make that save. And he hangs on just as time runs out. All right, we've played now 40 minutes in this one, and still a critical 20 minutes still needs to be played. Go stretch your legs, grab that final snack, because the third period is just around the corner. In one of our extravagant luxury boxes. See our website for details. Zone. Now it's about seeing the finish line and closing it out properly. Tyman's quick stick off the draw wins possession. Down the left wing, across into the offensive end. Oh, love the defensive stick work there to poke that one away. Here they come on the attack. And now he moves it quickly to Kajula. Gets in front of it. Ingham's got the puck. He's going to hang on for a whistle and slow things down. Well, he's been shelled, hasn't he, James? He's weathered every storm that's been thrown at him, and now he elects to pounce on this puck. It's a nice, safe play. He anticipates well, and he holds on for the whistle. Back underway as he wins the draw inside the offensive zone. Ingham's got the puck, and he's going to hang on. Some last-second communication with the D as centers get ready to drop the puck. The Condors take possession off the faceoff. Oh, excellent play goal there! Picked up along the boards by Thomas. The Condors gain possession. And he shuts the door on that. Ref blows the whistle as the puck's covered up. The Condors are looking to get back into this one, trailing early in this third period, despite having the better scoring chances. Jody's won it in their own end. Slides the puck over. Looking to make something happen in the offensive zone. He scores! Off the pipe and bulging the twine! Well, it's a game of inches, isn't it? And this time, those inches, they work in his favor. They go right into the net. Well, it's a quick release shot, James, but it goes off of the inside of the post. Sometimes it redirects out. This time, it redirects in. Ontario's performance tonight still showing no signs of let-up here in this third period. Well, they've had such an impressive performance, James. It's been dominant in all areas of the ice, and there's been no lag or no let-up. The message has been clear by the coaching staff as well as everyone on the bench. Keep pushing. Walker stop by Ingham! Ontario's got a hold of the puck. Takes it across the blue line. Bakersfield's looking to break out of their own end. Angles it over to Peterson. Coming down the left wing and into the zone. Quick pass to Gleason. The rain have the puck in their own end. Oh, some strong physicality on the play. Oh, Red, perfectly. What a save. The Condors gain possession along the wall. 
Bakersfield's looking to break out. Takes the shot. Nothing. Players work too hard to have the puck on their stick and to get to scoring areas to not hit the net. Even if they don't score, they'll get a rebound if they at least hit the tender. Oh, just a great heads-up play by Nimalainen. Over the line they come. Ontario's got a hold of it against the wall. Here's a short pass to Hellenius. The Condor's going to work on offense. And that's snapped away in the defensive end by Connaughton. And they'll dump it in. The Condors have it against the wall. Gains the zone through the middle. Great read with the stick. The Condors play it along the boards. Ontario's got it in their own zone. Moves the puck into the attacking area. Oh, a huge hit against the wall, and you know they felt that one. Well, and that's a tone setter. That's sending a message to every player on your team. Get involved physically, pay the price, use your body, and get the puck. The Condor's enemy is starting to become the clock as they still trail here in the third, despite several scoring chances. And he can't hang on after that hit. No quarter given here as they battle for the loose puck along the boards. Slides it up ahead from the right wing. Centering key! And that's stopped! There's the whistle as the puck is frozen up. Teams are ready to go, and we're about moments away from puck drop. And they win the face-off and set up to go on the attack. Made that stop. Puck moved over to Savoie. Here's an odd man rush. Shot, and that goes off someone in front and doesn't reach the net. Can't maintain possession. Oh, they telegraphed the pass, and he picks it off. Sends the pass over. Bakersfield's got the puck along the boards. Moves it quickly over to Thomas. Bakersfield's got the puck in their own end. Gains the zone along the right wall. To the low slot. Oh, gets a proper on that one as he just got enough of it. Great reach with the poke check. Gleason's determination on the puck, even though he stumbled and has a lack of balance, really shows right there, James, as he finds a way to get that pass through to the shooter. The rain have the puck against the boards. Exploring options here inside the defensive zone. Ontario's got the puck against the half wall. What a chance, but can't finish! Well, you gotta make good on a chance like this. This is deflating, James. You don't even put it on the net and test the goaltender. That's a huge miss. He reads this play perfectly, James. He gets tight to the shooter. There's no room to put it by him. The Condors have had more chances offensively, but they have not been able to convert trailing here in this third. Ontario's got it in the defensive zone. Gaining momentum along the wing. Here's a shot. Makes the save with the puck. The rain have gained possession off the wall. Under siege and finally grabs that one and covers up for a whistle. Teams are ready for the draw. The linesman about to drop the puck. The Condors win the defensive zone faceoff. And he takes the feed. Moves it to Bourgeois. And that's intercepted by Fagamo. He carries the puck up along the wing. Quick shot! Denies him! Along the wing, up the neutral zone. Picked up along the wall by Kachula. Quick stop by Ingham! Well, the shooter's in a coveted spot on the ice, right in the middle of it, with a good look, and he makes an incredible save by getting square to the puck and turning it aside. Look out, here they come on the attack. And that pass goes off a stick. 
Slides it diagonally to Kajula. From the left side into the middle of the neutral zone. Oh, it stays out. He got a piece of that one. That's a fantastic save by the goaltender, but his team has to do a better job of protecting the middle of the ice. Those high danger scoring chances eventually go in. They take possession as he locks them up off the faceoff. Scrum along the boards as they battle for the puck. The Rain have taken possession along the wall. Grabbed along the board by Lavoie. Quick feed to Pinelli. And there's the save. On the attack, they come down the right wing. Takes that pass back to the corner. Puts it high. The Condors have had a good game. They've been all around the puck, but they've been unable to convert on the shots they have had. Been a good game overall, but they haven't been able to convert. Hellenius moves the puck. Backtracks with possession back inside the defensive zone. And he's pulled over to the ice and loses the puck. Hellenius takes the puck. Moves around along the half wall. Pinned up along the boards. The Rain have gained control of the puck along the wall. And he turns that one aside. Safra's got the puck. Scores! And they get one back here. I guess it's something to look at positively, James. I mean, the goal scorer certainly is going to feel happy that they've contributed, but they're going to have to find a way to dig themselves out of this hole, and it's a large one at that. They're going to put their work boots on and try and kick it into high gear if they even want an opportunity to claw their way back in this game. Bakersfield's got to find a way to continue to attack here now, right, Cheryl? Yeah, and they're going to do that by throwing defensive structure out the window and just pushing forward. You can expect four players to be involved in the attack when they get going north. Here's a chance! Great glove save! There's the whistle. We'll get a face-off after the goalie covers up. The Condors are running out of time as they trail late in this third period. And as the puck is dropped, they win the draw here inside the defensive zone. Up along the wing. Here we go, one-man rush. Easily turned aside by Campbell. Great defensive effort with the stick. Ruby's going to have to keep his head up throughout this game. No one liked that play earlier that injured their player. The crowd is frustrated, including the bench. He'll have to be aware when that puck's on his stick. Both centers ready to take the draw here, coming up. Groovy's won the faceoff here in the offensive zone. Tynan's got the puck in his own zone. The Condors gain control of the puck. Moves it on over to Savoie. The Condors looking against the half wall. The Rain have gained control of the puck in their own zone. Steps inside. Oh, the respect! Hey, look at this! Made the stop on the play. This is a fantastic save, James. He's all over it. What I mean by that is he knows exactly where it is and where it's moving. A reason why he can get square to it and make the save. Hammers it! Big stop right there!
to convert on those opportunities where they James but you have to give credit to their opponent they closed really quickly on the faceoffs in particular and didn't give them a lot of time and space great night of action on the ice and I can't wait to do it again I know you can't wait either so we'll see you next time and we'll see you back